Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Brian here, hope you guys are doing okay. Today, I'm gonna be sharing with you my experience on my very first BTS concert. Yes, I am an ARMY. Didn't used to be this way, but just a little background on my ARMY journey, I guess. <laughs> I feel so weird saying that. I didn't really become interested in BTS until 2020. There was nothing else to do, so I'm like, okay, what's going on in the YouTube world, right? So I stumbled upon BTS. I mean, I've heard of them before, but I didn't really pay much attention to them because I thought, you know, it's just another another K-pop group. Like, I'll always be forever be a VIP. My thing will always be Big Bang back in like 10 years ago. Bruh. So, fast forward to 2020, when they released Dynamite, I'm like, okay, this, this is not bad. I started listening to that song, but that was the extent of that. I didn't really try to watch any of their old videos. I just kind of left that at that. I'm like, okay, cool. They have one good song. At the time, that's what I was thinking. And then Butter came out and I was like, this song is a bop. Like, I, I could not stop listening to that song. I was like, I think I like this group. I don't mind listening to this group. So again, I kind of left it at that. I still was a little hesitant to identify myself as an ARMY because I felt like you would have to know a lot more about them in order to become one. That was my mentality back then. If I could only go back in time and go back to the same moment, I would probably shake myself. I'm like, what are you doing? They're f***ing amazing. So anyway, it wasn't until late 2021 when they were about to do a show at the SoFi Stadium in Los Angeles, here in LA, when I really couldn't escape BTS. It, they were like all over the place. They're all over TV, they're all over the radio, and they are all over social media, and they're all over the LA streets. Like they did a... Um, crosswalk concert or the Late Late Show with James Corden. I know that street. I used to drive through that street to my work. I used to work at the Groves. At the time when they were performing that crosswalk concert, I was only like a few miles away. I, had I only known that they were going to do that, I would have I would have snuck out of work and <laughs> just to be there, but I didn't know at the time, so whatever. So obviously I didn't go to the SoFi Stadium because the tickets were insanely expensive and, and poor, so there you go. And then when I found out about them doing a show in Vegas, the Permission to Dance in the Allegiant Stadium, I was kind of interested in going, but I figured I wouldn't be able to afford a ticket, so I just kind of lost hope. Fast forward to like three weeks ago, my partner texted me, hey, what is the one thing you want the most right now? And I said, duh, money. Bruh. <laughs> <laughs> and then he goes, okay, what's the second thing you want the most? I'm like, the BTS tickets. He goes, your cousin just texted me and she may have good news for you. Literally time stopped. I'm like, hold the phone. I'll talk to you later. I had to call my cousin. I called her and she goes, yeah, I was wondering if you'd be interested in going. Yes. Yes, I am. Yes. She goes, oh, I was afraid you wouldn't be. I'm like, why wouldn't I be? You know how much I love them. <laughs> she goes, okay, so we're going. I'm like, yes. We're going. So she ended up getting two tickets, one for her and one for myself, for the day three of Permission to Dance concert at the Allegiant Stadium. That week and a half leading up to the concert from the moment I found out that we were going, that week and a half was probably the slowest week and a half of my entire life. I'm like, is it Friday yet? Is it April 15 yet? Finally, the day came and we were heading to Vegas. I go to Vegas all the time, but this time around, it was different. The moment I parked my car, I was like, I'm gonna see them tomorrow. Like, I'm gonna see BTS tomorrow. <sighs> Okay, by this time it was already Friday, April 15, 2022. The concert was gonna start at 7.30 p.m. We were staying at the Harris Casino Hotel on the Strip, which is not far away from the Allegiant Stadium, but we figured because we're gonna be doing a lot of sightseeing, a lot of exploring, a lot of walking, we decided to leave at around 3 p.m., which is about four and a half hours before the concert started. So we took an Uber, wasn't too bad, we got there right away, and then as soon as we got off the car, then you see these lines of people just like, Whoa, it was so overwhelming. Considering that it was that early, there was already so many people that have probably been there for hours already. This is different because the last concert I've attended prior to this was in 2017. It was the uh, Shania Twain Bruh. concert in LA at the Staples Center. So you can imagine just the stark difference between the artists. I was like, oh my God, this is overwhelming, but I'm doing this for BTS. So again, when we got there, we saw multiple lines and we decided to explore the grounds and go to several merchandise booths. And we ended up picking one. By the time we got to the front of the line, understandably, their merch were mostly sold out. 
even the light sticks were out and I was like oh my god I've always wanted to get my hands on an army bomb and I was a little disappointed that it was sold out but luckily the armies oh my god they're so friendly and so helpful they're like oh no this is not the only booth like if you go to that one lot F or whatever they have another booth that's selling it and they even have a pairing booth next to it I'm like Thank you. So everybody was so helpful. So anyway, so we get to the other booth and we finally got an army bomb. If you, okay, if you're a BTS fan and you've never owned an army bomb and you know what it means to own one as an army. And then the moment you get your hands on one, bruh. oh my God, it was like the most exhilarating, most exciting feeling I've ever felt ever. And like, it's so, I know it's a light stick, I know, but if you've ever owned one or if you ever held one in your hands, you know what I'm talking about. Like this little thing over here is magic. I literally feel like I'm holding an Oscar right now. <laughs> this over here is priceless in, in my opinion. Honestly, I know it's $60, but the feeling that you get when you finally hold one and then when you participate in that army wave, I can't e explain it. It's just one of those moments that you have to experience yourself in order for you to understand it. Anyway, so after we got our army bomb, we finally decided to go through the main entrance to start going in. Security was smooth. We got in quick. And I heard from many people I've talked to that the Allegiant Stadium for the BTS concert was a lot more smooth and organized than the SoFi one. Correct me if I'm wrong. So we get in, then we pass security, we see all these quirky outfits. I remember seeing this sign on the guy while he was with his family, I'm assuming with his wife. He had a sign on his back saying, Jimin, my wife is married. I thought it was hilarious. And we saw this woman wearing a full-blown wedding dress. She looks like she was gonna get married there. It wasn't until we get into the stadium that I understood why she was wearing that because Suga, let me tell you, he, Suga had the loudest cheer and I did not expect that. The lady wearing a full-blown wedding dress with her tiara and her veil was amazing and I, I guess she was there to marry Suga. So <laughs> as soon as we got to the security, we went straight to another booth that they had inside and that's when we pretty much got a lot of the merch that I ended up buying. So I ended up getting a couple of shirts and I got this picket over here. They ran out of the picket with their individual faces on it. So I opted for this because why not? And I also got a picture of my bias because <laughs> why not? It's B. He is my ultimate bias. Also, my bias wrecker. Jungkook, but I'm gonna give this to my friend because this is her ultimate bias. So I bought it for her. And then when I, when I got to the concert, I understood why a lot of people have sugar as either their bias or their bias wrecker. He had this appeal and such a presence that I didn't know he had just based on watching him through the screen. I had to see him in person to feel and see that. As he was walking towards us, I'm like, who is this one over here? And I'm like, is that Sugar? His face, his skin was like flawless, dude. I, anyway. So he's my new bias wrecker, along with Junko, is what I'm trying to say. <laughs> Long story short. So after we got our merch, we ended up going straight into the stadium and my cousin got us a seat in section 128, row seven. So section 128 at Allegiant Stadium is really the one on the edge of the stage and it sounds bad until I found out how close we were to the stage. We were on row seven, seven rows away from the stage. Can you imagine? When we finally sat down, I looked around, I'm like, oh my God, there's so many people in here. And then I looked in front of me and I see this orange platform with wheels that I know they get on because I've seen it on YouTube. It's so close to us, I'm like, oh, are they coming toward our direction? <laughs> I was so excited. And then before the concert started, they played a whole bunch of their songs and music videos and everybody was just singing and dancing along. It almost felt like a concert before the concert. So let's go. Yes, I, 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 it starts tonight. So watch me break the fire, set the night alight. Hey, shining in the city with a little funky star. Light it up like dynamite. Oh. Side step right left. Bobby. High like the moon rock with me, baby. Know that I got the key. Let me show you the fucking 
but we were the opening act. It was amazing just to see a sea of army bombs lighting up and then just hearing people sing in synchrony. It was an incredible moment that you have to be there. And then finally the show started and let me tell you, the armies can make some of the loudest noises in this entire planet. Honestly, I have never heard a noise that loud in my life. Shania Twain crowd didn't get that loud. So the whole stadium was vibrating. I can't explain it. Like I thinking about it just takes me back to that moment when I felt the vibration of people's screams and energy is just so contagious. Just seeing them perform live after only seeing him on TV was so unreal. They really know how to put on a show and I know that sounds really cliche but if you've ever been to a BTS concert you know exactly what I'm talking about. They do all their dances like they dance for real. Not just like a half-ass one-two step dance moves. It's like full-blown high energy dance choreography galore. It's amazing how they're able to keep up that energy level because I was exhausted just watching them dance. And they really know how to engage the crowd. They know how to make crowds scream and lose their mind just by saying one or two words. Just to hear their voice live, it, I don't know, it's so weird. It's such an out of this world experience. Speaking of out of this world experience, being able to finally participate in the army bomb wave, whoa. Just seeing it from afar, because it started from the opposite side and it was coming towards us. Oh my god, just once it was our turn to hold it up, it was like, oh my god, I'm part of it. <laughs> It almost felt like an initiation process, you know? I finally get to participate in one of these. I would always see this on YouTube and I thought it was so cool and, and it would be cool to be part of it one day. But the moment that almost killed me was the time when they sang telepathy and they started walking towards us to get on that orange platform. I was trying to film them as they were getting closer and closer and like they got super close. And I was like, why am I looking at the screen? Look at them because they're right there. Seeing V that close to us, literally my mouth just dropped. I was like, he's not real. He's not real. V is not real. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. Just seeing him that close, he looks perfect. V is the epitome of perfection. Seeing him up close in that pink purple suit, Dreamboat and then they would do their little speeches in between sets and one of the speeches was B Acknowledging the male armies. He's been noticing in the crowd So today I looked around the stadium and I saw a lot of male army Yeah And when he told us that he wanted to hear us, oh my God, you better believe I scream at the top of my lungs. I probably sounded like I was the only male in our section because I, I never mind, just, just watch. Right? <laughs> so loud. 
the concert lasted for over two hours. It went on for a long time. It felt like it was longer than two hours. So it could be, I could be wrong. And then at the end of the concert, confetti started falling and then people were going crazy for them. I'm like, what is going on? And people busting out their, their bags and their and their Ziploc bags, trying to put some of them in there. I'm like, what is going on? They're like, oh no, no, these confettis, you can sell them online. I'm like, what? These cute little cut out papers from a concert can be sold for money? And they're like, yeah. Oh my God, it would be at a BTS concert. Everything that they touch, everything that's related to them, associated with them, there's so much demand for it. You know, even as simple as confetti can go for a lot of money. Didn't know. Unfortunately, where we were sitting, we didn't really get any confettis, but my cousin somehow got a hold of some, so she shared a little bit with me. So I ended up just putting like three of them right here. I'm keeping it here. I didn't know they go crazy for confettis, but now I know. It was such an amazing concert. We met so many kind people, so many kind armies in different age groups. They're probably one of the most generous, friendliest, the most passionate people I've ever met in my life. Just seeing the diversity of the army crowd just speaks volume to the universal appeal that BTS has. You know, they have this power to unite people from diverse backgrounds that you wouldn't typically imagine being in the same stadium together cheering for the same band. It's incredible what this band can do. During and after the concert, I felt a great sense of unity, community, peace, love. I know it sounds super cheesy, I know, I get that, but if you've ever been to a BTS concert, I hope that you understand what I'm trying to say. It's an experience and feeling that can only be fully understood if you've experienced it yourself. Overall, it was one of the best experiences in my life, one of the most memorable moments that I'll forever be grateful for. And, and I'm thankful to my cousins, Koya Raymond and Teresa for making this possible because if it wasn't for them, I wouldn't be able to experience this. Leaving Vegas after the concert was so hard. I go to Vegas all the time, but this time around was different. Vegas hit a little bit differently this time around. I didn't want to leave. As I was leaving, driving away from the stadium, I almost wanted to cry <laughs> because I had such a great time that I didn't want it to end. And since then, I've been listening to their songs. I've been watching a lot of their interviews. Listening to their old songs had me thinking like, why am I just listening to these songs? These songs are amazing. But anyway, one particular song that really stood out to me is Blue and Gray. <sighs> you know what I'm talking about. That song hurts. Reading the lyrics and listening to V's emotional voice, it's such a relatable song anyway. So yeah, that was my experience at my very first BTS concert at the Permission to Dance Las Vegas 2022. If you guys have been to any of their concerts or if you've been to all of their concerts, I'd like to hear about it. Let me know if you were there at the Las Vegas concert. Let me know what your experience was. I'd love to hear all of them. Moving forward, I'm gonna try to post more reaction videos to BTS. So I try to avoid watching their old music videos. I've only seen Permission to Dance, Butter, and Dynamite. I Thing. And the rest of them, like I try to avoid watching them because I intend to react to them. So let me know if there's any particular music videos or performances of BTS that you want me to react to. And I'll do my best to make some time to react to them. Guys, thank you so much for being here. Thank you for your time. Before you go, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you won't miss my next video. Until then, see you later.